morning, everyone. My name is Kyle Rogers. I'm a volunteer with Civic Tech Fredericton. We're a group of individuals who get together through the evening to develop technical solutions to social issues. And the social issue we're focusing on today is social isolation among older adults. Social isolation is a growing concern among health researchers because it has been linked to a variety of negative health outcomes such as depression, mental illness, heart health, cognitive deficits, and poor quality of life. Research by the Canadian government identified transportation as a major driver of social isolation among older adults. And those results were, weird, were mirrored in a recent Fredericton Age Friendly Survey, which identified transportation as a major concern for our older adults. Now one stat really jumped out at us, and it was the fact that a majority of older adults don't use buses due to the state of the schedules and the shelters. With that in mind, we decided to explore the ways in which we could prioritize bus stop improvements to best serve our older adult population. To do that prioritization, we first need to know where older adults live, now and in the future. To figure that out, we mapped current and projected age distributions for Fredericton. Thanks, Pierre. Now, these maps are pretty simple. Basically, the darker the orange, the greater the proportion of older adults in that given area. I'm going to draw your attention to the areas within the circles, because, spoiler alert, when we move to the 2028 projections, they get much darker. So what we see here is there's actually a universal trend of increasing proportions of older adults almost throughout Fredericton. That said, there are some areas in which the older adults appear to cluster, such as the two areas that I pointed out previously. Now these clusters represent ideal candidates for bus stop improvements because making improvements here will impact the greatest number of older adults. That said, knowing where to target improvements doesn't necessarily, does not necessarily tell us which stops need improvements. To answer that question, we developed a bus stop quality score. And the quality score was based off a variety of characteristics such as snow removal, presence of a sidewalk, accessibility, and presence of a shelter. Good and bad examples of each characteristic can be seen on the slide here. Now once we had, <coughs> excuse me, now once we had a, a score for every stop in Fredericton, we mapped them against the age distributions that I showed you earlier. So a low scoring stop, which has no snow removal, no sidewalk, no shelter, and poor accessibility looks like this and it's represented on the map, I'm going to ignore that, it's represented on the map by a bright red dot. Meanwhile, high score stop, which has all those aspects, looks like this, and it's represented on the map by a bright green dot. So when we consider Fredericton as a whole, we need to think of two things. First, the concentration of older adults in a given area, and second, the number of, of, of poor quality stops in that area. So essentially, we're looking for the darkest areas with the most bright red dots. So, one, uh, two candidates really stick out for me. The first is Sunset Drive on the north side and Woodstock Road on the south side. And improving transit stops in these areas would impact a large number of older adults and hopefully reduce the effects of social isolation going forward. Now this exercise really ultimately highlights the, effect, uh, the power of utilizing open data and data visualization. And we utilize a variety of different data sources which are listed here. And thank you very much.